guys are you here and today i'm gonna take you slowly through a game of double mage mistweaver and kind of show you what it takes leading up to a kill and kind of exactly how we do that sheep drs kicks pretty much everything that goes on in this entire game so i'll try to go a little bit slower than normal and show you each um, step of the way i'm starting off invis my mage is kind of running in um, the strat we want to do is probably go druid but other things will die as well um, we have not we don't have klepto we have we have temp shield instead so we could go klepto and try something like spam um orbs on the demo lock and spam klepto but i think with this game since we're temp shield we're gonna do druid swaps um which means a druid swap means uh leg sweep the druid with double orb so we get a paralyze on the druid to keep him still we have the demon hunter and a sheep so we can't peel and we're gonna go for an orb on the rest of druid to try to get trinket skin both you know kind of anything here i'm not going to pop icy veins because it's just our first go um popping icy veins on your first go when a druid has every cooldown and you're just gonna get peeled isn't great uh, you want to save icy veins for a little bit later it would be maybe okay to do icy veins if the druid was relentless but since the druid's trinket and not relentless um he can just trinket and get away, so you don't want to trade your three minute cooldown for a two minute cooldown. You want to wait till he has no trinket. We uh, we orb on this guy. I actually don't orb because I see that he already skinned. So by the time I orb, he already skinned. So I'm like, okay, I'm off. We got skin. I still have icy veins and orb. If we want to, you know, next time bait trinket when he has no skin, I was pretty much already right here saying I'm off. You know, I'm off. There's fell lord, so we want to play out of this fell lord and this red circle right here. We don't want to go inside of it. I pop down my orb anyway because there's so many people stacked. So as soon as I orb, I immediately blizzard instant cast because of the new artifact trait to get my orb uh, back off of cooldown before our next go. Because my other mage orbed already, I decided I might as well orb as well. I have another instant cast blizzard here. I do use it and look, my orb's already pretty much back. So it was a good thing. I just orb for pressure there. Um, quick note. You do want to look at all the trinkets, so the lock has no adaptation for 30 seconds. The druid has a trinket still available that we're going to try to force for next go, and the demon hunter has no trinket. So on our go, we want to make sure with the demon hunter and the in the or the warlock and the demon hunter are cc'd with maybe a kick, a sheep, just line of sight. Um, and if we're not um, prepared to do that, then uh, you know, then we should get ready to CS or something. I want to back up just for a second here. The Thalakal's consumption here from Lidl was on to me. I did not have a blink available. I wanted to save my counterspell for our next go, and since I have Orb and Icy Veins ready, I didn't really want to counterspell this. Um, and I had no blink available, so this is when I decided to use my Temp Shield to absorb the Thalakal's damage and just Temp back to higher life. That's a good uh, use of Temp Shield, right? You don't want to just Temp Shield randomly. You want to see what things are hitting you and Temp Shield um, strategically based on what's hitting you. Um, kind of ready to go here so kind of waiting on our monk to just you know paralyze and leg sweep just like before i have the druid on cc i can maybe go for a sheep on him that's what i'm trying to do now is get a sheep so we can go off of the sheep can't really get the sheep very well i switch my focus to the to the warlock and sheep the warlock as the druid gets paralyzed so the warlock sheep the druid's paralyzed the demon hunter is actually sheep dr'd which isn't a good thing um, so we don't have triple CC, we're only going to have double CC right here. We open on the druid with double orb, and we immediately get trinket. But once again, guys, I did not icy veins. My other mage didn't either. Since we, have, since we still have icy veins and he trinketed, that means next go, he's going to have skin back, but he's going to have no trinket, okay? Um... That means if we icy veins and orb, just spam blizzard to get our orb back and icy veins and orb next go, he should in theory die through skin. Um, quick side note, warlock has adaptation back. So before we go, um, it's going to be key important to sheep this adaptation off so we can get CC onto the warlock. Um, we're sheeping the demon hunter here just to buy us some time. Throwing some blizzards down to get uh, some resets. Right here, I just did what I just said. I sheeped the Warlock to get his adaptation to proc so we can get triple CC uh, when we go back on the Druid. Playing back, I do pop Temp Shield here. Not the greatest Temp Shield. Um, this was more of just a general one, but definitely did not need it. Could have saved it for a go in case I was in a little more trouble. All these Imps right here, it's a great time to Blizzard to get that orb back. And I do have my orb completely back now, so pretty much ready to go on this Druid. As soon as my Mistweaver has a Leg Sweep available, to get onto the druid we can go off of a paralyzing off of a sheep 
like I said, I want to save my counter spell for this warlock. Maybe sheep the warlock and uh, do a nice hefty go here um, anytime. My, my uh, other mage gets a full sheep on the druid, so we can just go out of that sheep. It um, almost looks like I can get a sheep here on the warlock. The sheep DR and the demon hunter is coming up. I'm casting a sheep warlock. We get a sheep on the warlock. I think my other mage might have been in charge of the demon hunter this game. Um, so we'll see if he gets a sheep there. We get a double leg sweep onto the warlock and to the druids. This means they both can't move. We just throw an icy veins and an orb onto the druids. This is a leg sweep, icy veins, orb. My mage is doing the exact same thing. Icy Veins Orb, and my Monk is also playing Fist Weaver spec. I, I failed to mention that. So he's doing quite a bit of damage as well. I'm going to play this. We are going. I'll play it global by global, and I'll play it back in real time. So Icy Veins Orb, Comet Storm, Ice Nova, Ice Lance, Ice Lance. Okay, so what that looked leading up to it was Sheep the Druid, Sheep the Warlock, Double Leg Sweep, Icy Veins, Orb, Comet Storm, Ice Nova, just spam Ice Lance. There it is, guys pretty awesome game there of double mage um it might look face roll if i just play the whole thing in full time or just real you know real speed but as i kind of just break things down it really shows you guys how in-depth this comp is and you know really what you're looking for how in-depth any comp is and really what you're looking for in any comp you know you want to you know sort through cooldowns you want to you know keep a look at all the cast bars you want to keep a look at the trinkets you want to use your cooldowns based on what cooldowns they have and you're constantly swapping back and forth so i hope this video helped you maybe even more than a normal video of mine would i um, really breaking down each step so if you guys do want to play this comp um, i hope you could take away something from this video but also if you wanted to play any type of burst comp basically this is how frost mage plays through any comp so if you're going to be playing frost mage windwalker um frost mage rogue a lot of the comps play like this you keep an eye on trinkets you keep an eye on cooldowns then you burst around them um and different goes back and forth so yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you like this video today where i really slowed things down thumbs it up if you did thumbs it down if you didn't talk to me in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace